meets Pigasso, a 200 kilogram pig who's making her mark on the South African art scene. Saved from the slaughterhouse by animal rights activist Joanne Lefferson, Pigasso spends her days painting at Farm Sanctuary SA, a haven for rescued livestock. Like the work of her namesake Pablo, collectors describe Pigasso's art as abstract. Obviously everyone's always surprised and they can't believe that the pig's painting. But um, the most amazing thing is to see people come into, into Farm Sanctuary SA to see her, you know, her artworks and the first thing that usually comes out is oh my goodness, this is really good, <laughs> you know. So I think if you look at her artworks completely objectively, not even knowing that a pig actually painted them, I think they can stand, you know, in a, in a fine gallery with some of the great expressionists of our time. Picasso even has her own gallery, Oink. And so collectors can be certain they're buying an original. The artist signs each piece. Picasso has sold about 19 paintings, um, nine of which have been some of her big artworks, and the most expensive one sold for about $2,000. All proceeds go to Farm Sanctuary SA, a non-profit organization that raises funds for rescued livestock. Joanne Lefferson hopes Picasso's newfound fame will draw attention to how farm animals are treated and inspire consumers to make more compassionate choices when they're shopping. This organization is really to um, make people make the connection between a package in a supermarket and the life of an amazing you know, animal and to um, make that connection and that behind every single package of meat is an amazing life and, and in that moment to hopefully start a journey of compassion. Although deep down Lefferson hopes international galleries will exhibit Pegaso's work, her main aim is to raise awareness and encourage better treatment of farm animals. Julie Shire, CGTN, Franschuk, South Africa.